Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. This is part two of the direct query series. In part one, I gave you an example of creating a direct query connection and provided some general information on operation and overview. In part two, we're going to combine direct query along with the traditional Click Analytics engine so you can see how the two work together. And we're gonna do this utilizing a capability known as ODAG, on-demand app generation. And I've covered this topic in the past, so I will leave the information for the webinar that I presented this topic in so you can get more detail on it. But I'm not gonna cover this into too much detail. You will see how the capabilities will work together as I step you through the process. So let's jump right in. Basically what we're gonna use is direct query to create our summary or selection app. And we can now auto-generate the detail or the template app directly when using a direct query connection. I'm gonna show you that as well. Um, in general, think of ODAG or on-demand app generation as a way of querying very large data sets at a summary level, carving off a slice of the data that you want to inspect or analyze in more detail. And you're gonna see that whole process here. So we're gonna start out by creating a new analytics app and we're just gonna call this one uh, direct query and ODAG. And I'll put it in the ODAG and dynamic view space and click create. So basically what you're gonna see me do here is very similar to what we did in part one. I added a connection for Snowflake from the direct query connection option. I'm gonna to navigate to my personal space where my Snowflake data source connection is. Choose the connection. Again, to reiterate, selecting tables here will actually insert the load statements from the traditional point of loading data in memory in that Click Analytics engine. Going to the upper right and choosing Go to Direct Query will enable that UI so it will perform the direct query operations. So I'm just going to choose my role, the database, and the schema. And I have some data here related to taxi trip information. I have one with, I think about 500,000 rows in it. So we're gonna choose this one here called trip small. And here we can inspect the fields. I'm just gonna add this to my app by clicking next. And being we have not selected another table, there isn't any relationships to build. So at this point, we can now build our summary and selection app. So let's navigate to our fields and let's just drag and drop some dimensions we're going to use for selections. We'll choose vendor ID. And let's see payment type. And rate code. And now we can build some visualizations. We could just use some KPIs. This one will use trip count, which is going basically going to be the uh, pickup and date time. So we'll count up the pickup and date time. We could even call it trip count in the label if we wish. And this one we can do passenger count. This one we can do fair amount. We'll do a sum. And this one we'll just do tolls. Okay, so this is our summary or selection app. Let's give it a title. Okay, so at this point, this would be the main app that's querying Snowflake live and in real time and allows us to narrow down a slice of the data that we're interested in from the selections we choose. So I'm gonna choose, let's say CMT as the vendor ID, and then I'm gonna choose our payment type as cash 
and you can see rate code one is already selected. So here's our trip count, passenger count, tolls amount, etc. Made a mistake on passenger count, that should be a sum. Let's just change that. Okay, so now that we have our selection, something new with direct query connections in ClickSense Cloud Apps is the ability to generate the detailed app automatically. In the past, you would have to create these apps separate and then link them together and also insert some code. And this is all documented, etc. Uh, it's also covered in my webinar session. However, now you can choose Generate Template App and it'll give it a name and you click Generate and it'll actually create a separate detailed app with the data statements needed so you can create that more detailed app. So when I click Open, it now brings us to the app that it just generated and inserts the appropriate statements. And at this point, we can click Load, Close, go to the sheet, and now we can build up some detail if we want. So let's do something like, same similar uh, as we did. Let's do trip count, which is the uh, pickup date and time. Now we're going to leave it here and I'm going to go back to the summary app that we created and I'm going to show you how we can link the two together using what's called app navigation links for on-demand app generation. So back in edit mode, I will click app navigation links, create new and we're going to give it a name and we're just going to call this detailed trips app. And we choose the template app. And there's the one that we created, direct query and ODAG on demand. So the expression here is going to be a count of the pickup times. In other words, the uh, trip count. We want to limit the number of rows coming back when we initiate the request or the on demand app. So here we'll just insert pickup date time and then we'll put a maximum row count basically say you know you can't request more than 2,000 rows and then click create. Now this will put an item in the menu under app navigation links and then we can drag that to this location on the footer or at the bottom of the dashboard. Okay so let me show you what happens now. So now you're in your summary app or your selection app, and we're going to perform similar. In this case, instead of CMT, we're going to choose DT. Uh, we're going to choose DDS, and we've already reduced our trim count to 4,000, right? So look, if we uncheck, you can see we went from 500,000 to 4,000, and we're going to use all payment types and all rate codes. So now we're just going to analyze this data. So once that selection is performed, you'll notice we have our direct query on demand app, but you see we have a message here. We haven't met the constraint, so it's not allowing me to generate the new app. If you remember, we put a row count of 2000. So I have to perform more selections. So let's choose uh, cash. And now we only have 856 and you can see that the button is now green. We've met our constraints, and now we can click Generate New App. So now it's going to generate a new app based off of the selection criteria from the selection app. We can kind of view its process. We can see the selections, and we can see the last load progress. When we're done, we can just click on this button here, and it's going to open up the app that you saw me create once we did the auto generate, but now with the new data. And here it is. Now we're looking at vendor ID DDS. There's our payment type, all our rate codes and pickup times, and that particular total amount for fares, etc. 
And that's basically it. So now at this point here, I could perform my searches. I could use Inside Advisor. I could use alerting. Pretty much all the features that are available from the ClickSense in-memory analytics engines and associated capabilities. Okay, so if you want to see that again, just from the perspective of the selection app, This time I'm going to go in and make some changes. And we're going to add another KPI. Just add a bar chart. We'll do passenger count by payment type. Okay. Now we'll go back to our summary app. This time we're just going to choose our rate code of zero. And you can see that we have three, four payment types. Click on the trip detail and we have 70 record count. Generate the new app. The app's been generated. Now go directly into that app. And you're going to see the changes for the detail app based off of what we just added the other chart object. And there it is. Okay, so this is how direct query can be used when you want to perform a hybrid data analytic solution to taking real time data directly from the source, in this case from a cloud data source such as Snowflake, performing a summary of some high-level KPIs along with some dimensional selections that you can then filter and carve off a slice of the data that you then want to further analyze deeper utilizing the capabilities offered within ClickSense SAS. Okay, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Uh, ask questions as well, I'm always happy to accommodate. And also check out these other great resources. Take care guys.